I work in Bollywood and you know we always have this film script of a hero and a villain. In the gut back here, do we have the good guys and the bad guys? It's not that there's a villain in the gut, so in Bollywood terms, there's no kunda, but we actually have the heroes missing. There's one bacteria, and I call it the Salman Khan of the gut. They're the bodyguards. Salman Khan is a very famous movie, Bodyguard. Hello? These guys are the Salman Khans of the gut. And these bacteria, they're called bifidobacteria. So they're the bodybuilders. They're the bodyguards, right? Salman okay. Khan is a very famous movie, Bodyguard. Yeah. Karina Kapoor, Salman Khan. Okay. These guys are the Salman Khans of the gut. Why? When they are present, they are protecting the gut from pathogens. Anytime we have, uh, we crave a samosa late night, or we see our favorite, you know, uh, Golgapa Wala, and we want to get the Golgapa at night, right? You know this. It's not perfectly sanitary food. Let's admit it. But we don't want to think of that when we're getting it. So lucky for us, for some of us, we have our sharukans in the gut, bifidobacteria, to protect us. Because whenever the salmonella reaches our colon and it wants to settle on the lining of the gut, there's going to be a bifidobacteria living there saying, Are boss, please move along. This is my home. Okay. And these bifidobacteria, when they are missing, it's like the security guards are out of our gut and our immune system will actually start overreacting because bifidobacteria make a chemical, it's called a short chain fatty acid, it's the byproduct of, they poop it out literally. And these short chain fatty acids would be identified by the immune system and they're anti-inflammatory molecules. So there are different species of bifidobacter. Um, and so when you do the test, you kind of find out which of these security guards are missing? Yeah, so I think that one of the powers of the test is that we can identify organisms into the substrain level, right? So when we think of it, uh, it's a technical term and I'll explain. Um, you can think of it like that. Uh, a species is, um, we can talk about species as a biological classification. Species could be dogs, but there's different kinds of dogs, right? There's pincher dogs that are very small. I have one, it's very annoying. <laughs> and we have the German Shepherds, right, or, or Great Danes. They're all dogs, but they're very, very different from each other. So whenever we go into the strain level, which is uh, exactly what you said, there are many different strains of Bifidobacter that are present, um, we can actually identify which is which and which is missing. And then, uh, in fact, there are specific strains of bacteria that are typical to India, but are not typical to Europe. And there's a name for this, I call it the, the, the big Desibiotics and Gorabiotics conundrum, <laughs> where we have species of bifidobacteria found in Europeans that are not found in Indians. And these bacteria specifically have adapted to live in a desi gut, right? Getting beat up all the time by salmonellas and, 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 and mirchis coming <laughs> along, and they grew tough, and they're much more effective uh, for an Indian person than they would be for a European and vice versa. Thank you for watching this far. It's been an amazing episode and I'm so grateful to have you till the end. If you like this video, please share this video with your loved ones. Better still, give me a subscribe, a like or even a comment and we'll come back to you.